So I've seen a ton of talk regarding the high-end Mac Mini and whether it's going to cannibalize the bigger iMac and the MacBook Pros, and also whether we're going to get all the M1 Macs and M1 Pro configurations with this machine. And so let's delve into all of that, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the first point is of course, is the cheaper Mac Mini with the M1 Pro and possibly M1 Max chip gonna cannibalize the MacBook Pro and the potential iMac Pro? Well, I don't think so because yes, the Mac Mini is an awesome deal, but do remember it's just the computer. You have to buy the peripherals. Whereas of course with the iMac, you're getting an amazing ProMotion mini LED panel that's gonna be absolutely amazing and is gonna be way better than third party monitors out there on the market. But also with the iMac, you're getting an amazing webcam, amazing speakers, amazing mics, a really nice keyboard, and of course a decent mouse. Though of course I will admit the Magic Mouse is not that great. But glossing over the Magic Mouse, the package you get with the iMac is really quite nice. And I do think it kind of justifies the $900 premium over the Mac Mini. Now as for the MacBook Pros, the same kind of applies here, but do remember this is a portable laptop. And so that means you have the flexibility of either connecting this to an external display and having a home setup. But of course, when you're on the go, you can take it with you. And that again is a pretty convenient feature that justifies the premium for those MacBooks. I mean, we already have the Mac Mini M1 that shares the same components as the M1 iMac and the M1 MacBooks. But of course, the iMac and the MacBooks are way more popular because people do appreciate having that all-in-one package. And so yes, while the Mac Mini is much cheaper than the MacBooks and the iMac, Many consumers don't want to bother looking for peripherals, they just want everything built in, and that justifies the premium for the iMac and the MacBooks. Now as for the chips going into the Mac Mini, this does not really have a clear answer. Now yes, I know some of you guys might think it makes sense that Apple gives us M1 Max and M1 Pro in the Mac Mini, since of course, like I said, the M1 Mac Mini has identical specs to the M1 iMac and the M1 MacBooks, and so it does make sense that the same applies for the higher end Mac Mini. However, one of you guys mentioned a few interesting points that were pretty valid. For example, Apple did not give us an i9 Mac Mini in the Intel days. We only went up to i7, and that definitely was not the highest end chip the Intel MacBooks and the iMacs offered. But also the much smaller body of the Mac Mini might not have space to accommodate the massive M1 Max chip. And so yes, I do kinda doubt we're gonna see all the configurations of M1 Pro and M1 Max available on this Mac Mini. Now, yes, I know the design part can be rectified. We've heard a ton of reports regarding a redesign, and so Apple could give us a bigger chassis that accommodates the M1 Max chip and the thermals that are needed. But of course, in the renders we've seen of this new design, it's gonna be thinner than the existing design, so this, fitting the M1 Max chip seems a little unlikely. And so yeah, maybe Apple only gives us the M1 Pro chip in the Mac Mini that should still be more than enough for the target demographic. I've also heard many theorize that maybe Apple just plans to give us an M2 version of the Mac Mini, and that's gonna be the only version they offer. Since of course, unlike the MacBook Pro, we never had two tiers of the Mac Mini, and so maybe they're keeping the Intel version around for those edge cases that might need Intel, but then next year they discontinue it and launch the M2 version, and that just replaces the whole lineup. So yeah, those are my theories, but tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the M1 Max iMac. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.